hello, welcome, Ola, Privet. Uh, this is your Gita if you're tuning in the first time. If not, then welcome back. It's been a couple of weeks. So on this rainy day again, um, I figured I might as well do the video since it doesn't look like it will stop any day now. You know, if you live in the Midwest, you probably had this situation for a while. It seems like the flood is literally here. My friends who live like half hour away, uh, their town is practically island now. You know, they're surrounded by water and it's not even by the main river. So yeah, rain, rain, rain every day. It's like for a week and it doesn't look like it's stopping. And plus it's cold. If it was nice and warm, then it would have been better. You know, at least it's warm. Now it's you have to practically wear jackets to keep you warm too. It's like 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So I hope your uh, situations are not uh, worse, but better than mine. Um, especially if um, you have a basement like we do here and we have a sump pump and uh, that if you don't have those places, like in Europe, we never had the such thing as a sump pump, but all the water that's like underground uh, goes through the pipes and collects in that hole inside your home where there's a either submersible pump or just above ground pump and when it reaches a certain height it just pumps the water out um, somewhere like in the pipes or something so it doesn't the water doesn't sit around your foundation I guess. So that looks fine right but if that some pump overheats or stop working all that water floods your basement so it's not fun if you have a carpet right or if there's like living quarters in there so i'm really hoping uh, none of my place is gonna happen like that or any of my friends so uh let's hope for a better weather right it's may it's may may the fourth be with you right it's may 4th today um uh, so if you're a Star Wars fan, you would understand that. <clears throat> so little uh, life update, I guess, uh, fairly quickly. Uh, what happened since the last time? Um, my kids, one of my kids' uh, schools, uh, were having a 5K, and that was the first year I actually didn't go. Um, my son even uh, signed up. Um, sixth grader signed up to do the 5k but uh, when we woke up in the morning it was like 38 degrees and planning to rain it was sort of red dripping so I told him I mean I didn't even bother to wake him up in the morning to get up and go for the rain yeah but uh, uh, that still happened and I guess uh, there were practically no kids in there it's kind of sad you know it's a nice event and uh, for a school and uh, for our communities, but it was too cold and rainy. I didn't want to get sick. Well, if you can hear by my voice, I'm sort of sick now, but uh, during that 5K, um, yeah, I just stayed up and stitched, I think, that morning. Um, While well, the other kid, my high schooler, actually had to go to and went into the field trip to some nature reserve and of course you know you walk a lot through practically marsh area and it was raining still so his shoes soaked up he didn't want to bring the boots you know kids are kids they don't want to listen to our advice right <laughs> so yeah he texted me mom can you bring me uh dry shoes when i come back uh, with the school bus so that's what i did and it took forever for those sh other shoes to get dry with the socks um, then that high schooler, me and him, went to his German club honor society banquet. It was in a beautiful building, which used to be, I guess, like a little uh, church in downtown. So it was very beautiful architecture. And we had like a German type of food and there was awards. He was the best in his whole grade in school in German so he got a little trophy for that and a pin and all kinds of stuff so I was very proud of him and if you can hear in the background um, I've been watching because uh, I couldn't see um, what was 
in front of us like uh, time wise but I mentioned that I was planning to go to regional uh, Barbisha Capacella, a cappella women's chorus um, competition and there were quartets too so we went and uh, my husband got in very late night before uh, from his uh, trip from work when he flew in and like seven o'clock in the morning we got up and uh, put stuff in, in the car and we drove for like six hours well he drove um, to make sure we got in time because i was um, my chorus members were um, helping out during quartet contest so i got to see most of the like behind the scenes in the theater i was uh, leading all the quartet members like after they then singing i was leading them all the way like up the steep ramp uh, through the theater um, to go uh, see webcasters and uh, like I give sort of like an interview afterwards. Um, so if I had my Fitbit, Fitbit? <laughs> if I had a Fitbit, uh, I would have wrecked a lot, a lot of steps and it's like up and down incline and uh, you listen but uh, I got a chance to, to see background and um, I've been running a webcast that you can subscribe to I've been running the uh, like a archive thing and they talk and uh, so yeah Friday was the work um, all day and uh, we got a chance to listen all the quartets and uh, find out who won and which place they got and uh, my chorus, we had a uh, total, I think, of four members. Well, four, they were members in the four quartets. Uh, one of them actually won different region, um, like all of the quartets, and they're going international this fall, which is very exciting. So uh, lucky that I'll be in Vegas where the, the competition is gonna be international one. And uh, Friday, we, um, we kind of, got together with all the other chorus members because we're staying, uh, only our chorus was staying in this beautiful building hotel that was built in like the 1920s. And it was, I guess used to be like apartment building. So each room had uh, at least like a kitchenette, a little sitting area. And some of rooms where there were four people staying, uh, they had like two bedrooms, there's a uh, little area like a living room sort of and there some of them even had balconies and breakfast was great and stuff like that so um Saturday morning we practiced and uh, put makeup oh you wouldn't believe how much makeup you have to put on to not to like blank out in the stage lights if you ever been on the stage you probably wouldn't know all those lights blaring and heating you up you need quite a bit of the makeup to put on to actually see your face instead of that disappearing, you know. So we performed all great and uh, actually my chorus won three medals, three ribbons. Um, <laughs> so uh, there's like categories for small uh, choruses and medium choruses and then like it's overall and in the small chorus category i don't know how many choruses there were we got the first place which means it's a blue ribbon and if you haven't seen they you can tell by the ribbon color uh, can you see? Uh, yeah anyway by the ribbon color you can tell like which place um it is so we know from far away and the same is in the quartets but the ribbon is much fatter and you know stuff so first place in the small chorus and then on the overall we got the third place so uh, that looks a little bit different and it's a white ribbon so it says third place uh, overall and um, we have a third uh, medal uh, being sent to us because they didn't have enough it's the most improved chorus from uh, last competition so that's was very exciting especially since our um, director of 35 years um, retired right there on the stage it was a uh, um, very emotional moment you know after so many years when she works and uh, literally we uh, the choreography was put such a way that during the song um, she passed on um, the directing to the our new uh, director uh, who is so much uh, young and very um, 
talented. So um, we're going this year to international, but because uh, of the rules, I think we can't go like two uh, years in a row international competition, no matter which category we're in. Um, so we'll have to see if, how we do it next year, perhaps. So anyway, if you, I think my chorus is coming up next to sing. So we had like one, uh, this past Tuesday, uh, no rehearsal, like relaxation time. And it felt weird after singing for so long um, and a whole weekend. Um, yeah, and on the drive back, it was rain, 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 rain. And roads are closed now, I think, through the, even some parts of the highways. <clears throat> and I think all, after all excitement uh, wore off, I got a sore throat and sinuses and uh, coughing and uh, my eyes been watering, so. Yeah, all right, enough of the blabbering about uh, life. Um, let's get on a fun stuff, right? Whips, I'm doing Stitch Mania, which I'm gonna show next um, video what I've done. Um, I already posted a video of just like a slideshow of my projects that I think I'll do. It depends if the mood strikes to do something else, I'll do something else, right? It's what kicks in, right? So since the last time you saw, I worked on the three projects. One of them I actually did a couple of separate times because I took it on a road trip since, you know, it's like six hour drive one way. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the one I took and I worked, uh, like I said, a couple times, different times. Um, it's um, body threads. That's what hopefully it would look like. It's done and uh, I'll show you what it looked like last time. Um, so yeah, I worked on that one and um, uh, it's, I didn't get a chance to do a lot more than, you know, than I wanted to, but I mean, every stitch counts, right? Every little stitch counts. So this is what it looks now. <clears throat> and it's on a... I don't know, 32 or 28 uh, sparkle fabric, opalescent that I gently dyed. Uh, um, but you can see it's like skirt coming up and I already done some back stitching to kind of get all around that part and I'm moving in. <clears throat> so yeah, this is what it looks like now where I stopped because um, Stitch Mania, right? So that's one thing. Another thing I worked and actually F, um, just FO'd, you know, finished project. It was also from my last year's Stitch Mania and it's by Bucilla uh, called Bluebird and that's a finished project. So yeah. Um, my birdie is done. Um, it's been a while since I stitched uh, from a kit or even, you know, on the hoop. It hasn't been washed <clears throat> yet, but uh, this is what it looks like. And I'll show you to compare in comparison what um, it looked like before. Um, so yeah, uh, backstitch really shows off uh, details, especially like in the flowers and uh, little feet, if you can see. Uh, so. so that's done. I haven't figured out what I want to do with that. Maybe a little cushion or something. I don't know. Ooh, the rain really makes me sleepy and it's not even coffee can stay, st stay me still, so to speak. And uh, another project I worked, um, I started sort of in a, like a car place, well, a car repair place, uh, while waiting um, for a van to be checked before the trip and it ended up I, we needed new tires and that radiator cap, I don't know if I mentioned, um, the 
the knob, some kind of, um, it was missing. So you can't just find those knobs. You had to buy the or it was fluid, some, something. I don't even remember now. But anyway, it's, um, I tried something like a, um, just a backstitch uh, work. And it's just, <coughs> just got like a, it comes the towel with a different patterns, as you can see, the choices. Uh, that could be one of them. So I had uh, Paris <coughs> uh, written down. I don't know, did I show it? I don't think I showed it to you. Uh, so I've done just more than half. So I sort of um, looked at the pattern and uh, freehand uh, marked with the water soluble soluble um, marker so you can see on this side a little marker thing and I mean it's not even you know I wasn't trying to go to total perfection perfection I'm sorry <laughs> my words is uh, kind of off today but it was very interesting to stitch you know there's different different fabric you know um, it sort of looks like uh, regular like a tougher muscle and linen or something it says it's about half cotton and polyester and rayon uh, and 1% some other fiber, which uh, I don't even know. So anyway, this is what I've done and I think I worked just a couple hours, you know, slowly breathing through it and um, just hour, hour and a half if I watched uh, some YouTube videos with it and I'll be done and it's for my friend. I haven't figured out... Uh, I might mark uh, my friend's uh, initial, at least last uh, name initial, or I should write something like, it shows like a Paris, you know, I'm not sure. Yeah, the, this is also like a freehand thing, it's just more um, exact thing. And um, so yeah, that's the third thing I worked uh, during this, uh, this time since I saw you last, or you saw me last. Jeez, my throat. <clears throat> so, as you know, DMC thread now is fully um, priced. Prices went up everywhere. I mean, I don't blame them, but it just sucks for us stitches, right? So, when I, um, I was doing Stitch from Stash, and uh, I wasn't, it was not in my plans cost to you know go buy a bunch of thread but I had uh, so many pride cool projects that uh, I want to make sure I have enough thread so I went and I got uh, right like literally night finished night before the prices went up yeah right um, so I'm not gonna show you the pile uh, I went you know in a negative uh, amount from stitch from stash so uh, I really want to now just concentrate on working some stuff and the stitch mania the way the way I was planning to do is uh, uh, take uh, 15 projects and I'll work on each of them for about two days so like my uh, when I do update on that stuff I had already my first project fully fit uh, just finished you know um, and um, I'm not gonna be able to do all of that of course but I, I kind of was pushing myself and uh, uh, watching TV, um, I'm up almost up to date with um, Lucifer. I finished the whole second season. I missed my uh, the third season beginning, which was I guess this past Monday, and I just started watching uh, Housewife, not Housewife's Tale, Handmaid's Tale. Uh, right now, it's a pause on my TV. Wow, that's like weird 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 show um yeah not something to watch in front of kids but it's like whoa you're really going really in the different times and just their the thought and stuff so it was weird right but other than that i um i think i mentioned i won um gift card uh, from uh gerald uh, ginger gerald uh, so, and I use it uh, from uh, to get something from uh, Stitching Bits and Bobs. I know some of you have trouble, but I got mine 
within a couple of weeks, I think, my stuff. And um, of course, I went a bit more than uh, the gift, uh, gift card was worth it, but hey, you know, since I already ordered some stuff. So I got a couple more of Country Cottage Needlework um, little thingies, you know, like um, reindeer stables, which you probably memorized by now if you've been watching YouTube, Frost Tube, Santa Stocking Store, <clears throat> Ponsetia Place, and uh, North Pole Post Office. I figured I might make some of them in a little things and um, as the gifts for uh, some of my relatives. I have a lot of them uh, from both sides. And um, then I was looking at some projects on, <clears throat> on what I needed to get. And one of the projects asked for, um, well, suggested to use Petit Treasure Braids. So I got these colors. And I think they're all for that one project. <clears throat> Hold on. So yeah, I uh, what I've done, I had um, I I saw somebody do that. Um, I don't have, I didn't buy any apps, you know, on the phone to put in what projects I want to get up or what's missing. So I just used Evernote and I was um, typing in on my computer and it was showing up on my phone, which is great, you know. I uh, when I was getting up, I just put it in and uh, marked. Um, in the red what I still needed, you know, at least everything. So I knew I needed to get this. So I got those. And uh, I think I might need another one but beads. You know, it's like a like blood red color, I love it. And uh, rainbow blending thread by Gliss and Gloss, which will be, <coughs> sorry, will be needed. Um, and uh, to add some more Krynik in my collection and I think there might be also both for the same pattern I think it's from uh, Passione di Camo one of the ladies so that's what I got from Stitching Bits and Bobs and then I finally received the package which I was waiting for over a month uh, or longer it was from Ukraine all the way in Europe um, and I knew it might be like a different size package and it came like in this big white potato sack tape top with some stuff so I'll show you first um, what small things I got from it Oof, um, one of the items it was um, not what I thought it would be but anyway this is by Lance Witt, uh Sunny Bunny it's a media um, well, you can see the bunny. So, you know, you can use that as a birth record to do. I know somebody's done different um, pattern from this uh, company. Um, and it shows like um, the level of um, hardness, I guess you could say. You know, up to five, it would be all the way to five. It would be very difficult. And uh, it's a whole kit. It's 16 count Ada. Yeah, so it's isn't cute you know for our kids and stuff and I love how the color of the frame is like a different color I guess um, so that's uh, made in Ukraine then um, company uh, uh, may do two of your own hands or make up your own hands it's also a kit um, uh, like a quiet street that's a name on the bottom and it kind of reminds me of San Francisco row houses I don't know if it's best based on that um, and it's a whole kit but it has a 14 count Ada but the fabric see how interesting how they put the threads in you know not just like that but I guess it holds better and if you have I guess like a shorter thread you can get to be held more strongly like this and um, they have those uh, empty places. I guess you can even put in like a symbol number in that. If you mark it with a pencil, you can reuse it. So it's, I haven't opened this one yet. Um, and it's only by 31 by 16 centimeters. 
I haven't uh, converted yet. Uh, <clears throat> um, so it has everything, including the needle, and it's 32 colors. Yeah. So um, looks pretty interesting. You know, it's going to be a lot of back stitching to do, but it's okay. I can survive. <clears throat> and um, it didn't cost me anything to throw in, uh, you know, to raise my shipping. But and I think it was like maybe 30 cents. I figured out what the heck, you know got these scissors they're very simple you know packaging is already like ripping but <clears throat> see it's a very simple thing and it's like why not you know <clears throat> it doesn't raise the shipping uh, price for that <coughs> oh. and uh the thing that was very interesting I got this kit, um, it's called Thread and Bead Embroidery Kit by Nova Sloboda, uh, by uh, Ladies Secret, 16 by 16 centimeters, and it looks like that. Mm. So I thought, you know, hey, you know, it's on a, maybe it's made on a fabric or something. Um, you know, it looked very nice, you can see like a satin thing and stitches and stuff, and there, of course there are beads, so I opened it up out of curiosity and uh, you know they had the threads and everything but this is it it's like this plasticky thingy that it's purse is printed on I guess if you get like a fabric maybe like I don't know once you stitch it because you can see it's only <clears throat> holes in this but this very thick uh, plasticky thingy and you stitch on that um, and I, I don't know if you can cut it out or not because it looks like a picture but it was it didn't cost a lot you know so I can do that <clears throat> so that was interesting and then biggest item I got what I think it took forever to get through sec <clears throat> so anyway what uh, it took so long to come through US because I could follow the postage in Ukraine you know until it uh, flew out of it and I was about to you know go in the post office that day and the lady brought me my stuff <clears throat> so I got a frame just like that <clears throat> that's a table frame by uh, Arabesca it's like a company and they have a different size so this is like a wooden frame uh, for the couch and you know you can adjust this height or the size this way <coughs> excuse me so I put it together but I found the problem <clears throat> all right I'll show you those things supposed to be other way hold on a sec it's Ta -da -ta. I couldn't fully finish it. I mean, I could use it sort of like this. Ta -da -da -da. You know, it feels dirty. It didn't take very long to put it together. But my problem was these things, uh, the screw is too short to go through. Uh, the, the screws have like a metal things in about, you know, on the back side, but they're all the same. screws were the same length i kind of checked it doesn't go all the way through according to instructions <clears throat> at least this way i might try to have this bar twisted because actually no it's about the same size it's a square so uh i'm gonna have to write to the company uh, that sold this <clears throat> and see what uh, they would suggest to do but it, you know, if you tighten the rub, because it's metal on metal, you know, not just the wood, um, it should hold. Oh, and I got the frame. Hold on a sec again. <clears throat> so I, I watched some of the, like, uh, YouTube videos, plus the video is in Russian language, and I've seen uh, those, these frames used. So I figured out I might try one, like I said, and this is a frame, <clears throat> I think it's like 50 centimeters. It's fully wooden with the similar type of screws thing. But what's different, you have like a Q-snap things here that you just clip it. It has, um, see it has a groove and it's like a little hook thing like G, 
I guess you could say G like letter and you hook it like and this and tighten that way once it's with the fabric I guess it kind of pushes it in a little bit more so it's sort of like a mixed Q snap uh, wooden um, frame uh, thing so We'll see how this works. I haven't tested it out. And uh, as you can see, different holes, you can make it as skinny as I want it, you know, and uh, I can put that on that uh, wooden uh, arabesca frame, uh, strige <clears throat> size. Um, so I'm very eager to try this one out when I do one of the bigger projects. And uh, in the same time, I got a bit more of the four of those uh, clips uh, <clears throat> just in case uh, if it broke you can order this stuff you know separately <coughs> um, and I wanted to say something about what did I want to say something about uh, oh so Ukraine yes if you guys uh, want to watch live um, Eurovision which is gonna be in Kiev just in a couple of days there is gonna be second year I think in the US uh, uh, they're gonna be showing it uh, on a special YouTube channel or even via computer um, one of the company I think it's called logo I put uh, I'll, I'll put the uh, like information down below so it seems like they're gonna show only like a final which is gonna be Saturday the oh is it 13 or something like that uh, I need to check hold on yes so it's gonna be uh, May 13th uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time uh, it's gonna be streamed and I'll put a uh, link and information down below if you'd like to check it out see how they, the the singers will be doing it's all kinds of um, um, you know ideas some people have who might win uh, because even Australia is participating you know what, what I was watching is that there third yes I think it's a, their third year I remember both times so uh, they were pretty high up in uh, charts to to battle for a first place um, so yeah Australia is accepted in Eurovision again um, <clears throat> and continues so I know there was uh, this still going like political uh, thing between Russia and Ukraine it's very sad that politics get into the arts music um, uh, but uh, law is the law of the country, right? If you want to, you can check it out. I don't want to delve too much in that. So anyway, I'll be continue working on my uh, second project of Stitch Mania. And uh, since, you know, somebody said like, wow, I can't believe you're actually going to try to do four new starts this year. Law tubers who have many, many, many starts, right? <clears throat> A year. Um, so you're definitely those 15 should shrink my start amount at the normal manageable size for the next uh, half of the year. Um, so yeah, I'll be watching the um, rest of you and I know there's quite a few uh, new floss tubers and I know some of the floss tubers who are not exactly new, they kind of get um, forgotten or like put aside, you know, and, and the newbies get all attention uh, so I hope it's uh, some of them I've seen very very small amount of subscribers and they've been doing that you know they had like seven videos out and um, so I'll have to look them up and maybe put uh, their links so you guys can watch and subscribe and uh, bring a little bit more joy to them because they know that somebody is actually watching them you know or paying any attention right it takes just so little <clears throat> so next video will be my halftime of stitch mania and uh, <clears throat> hopefully my voice gets should be back to normal and uh, I might have to go back to uh, getting soaked in steam with the mint tea stuff. I've been sucking the tea like crazy, lemon tea, so 
I hope the weather is nice to you. Like Laura Kilhamatel wrote, I think today that she was looking at the rain as not like a curse that you know everybody's getting flooded, but tries to enjoy that. Um, and I think today is the Beltane too, so uh, happy blessed Beltane to those who celebrate it. <coughs> And uh, may the fourth be with you and uh, try to enjoy every little possible moment that you have, even if it seems like it's a bad thing. Uh, so I'll talk to you later and to the stitching and stitch medium. Okay, bye. Adapt.